What is up guys, HF Masters here, and today we are back with our final Bionicle review. This time it is on Mask Maker vs. Skull Grinder. Ages are 8 to 14, item number 70795, and has 171 pieces. On the back we can see Skull Grinder and the Mask Maker. We have a comic, some of the features, the combination model, which I must say, looks really good. And that's about it. So let's open up the... Alright, so here is the Mask of Creation and the Mask of Creation stand. There isn't really too much for the stand, just a lot of trans parts. Does I had to do a little bit of adjustment. I kind of just slightly moved this piece out a tad bit. And now it really stays well. Before it would flop down all the time, but now you can really angle it the way you want. I could have it up like this or I could place it down like this. Usually with it out being like that, it would just be kind of down like this, but now I can place it up or down and it's really, really nice. So now let's go on to the mask maker. All right, so here is the mask maker. Now the first and most interesting thing of him is he does consist of a gear function for his hammer. This is kind of cool because he is a protector sized kind of uh, figure, so the gearbox is really nice to have. Another feature with this hammer is it is a stud shooter. Just gotta move it and studs will fire out. And of course, just like all of the protectors and of course Skull Warrior, it does come with seven extra studs just in case if you lose any. Another feature is the mask popping off. However, because of the body, you have to move the head down to pop it off. This is only because of the gearbox being big and it will interfere with the eye stock piece. And the shield does have a little gear on it so you can spin it around and this arm does not move. And now let's take a quick look at the mask maker with the mask of creation on. So here he is with the mask of creation on. Of course since the it's so big and large you have to tilt the head to pop off the mask which you know this is definitely a problem with this. But yeah, that is the Mask Maker, and now let's take a look at Skull Grinder. Alright, and here is Skull Grinder. Now, first of all, I want to go to the gear function. This is somewhat of a problem because since he has such a big weapon, there isn't enough friction. So it will end up just going down. You can have some poses kind of like this. But if you want to keep it like this, it will just fall down. That is an issue, but there are some fixes. All you have to really do is add some extra of the small little friction connectors in these two pins and it will work just fine. Another feature is the pop off the mask feature. You can just press down on the eye stock, pop off the mask. However, because he, he does have horns, you can also pop off the mask with the horns. Luckily, since these horns aren't like Skull Bashers, you won't be running into them as often. And that is something pretty good. One last thing is that this weapon can hold masks. All right, so here is the Mask of Creation in his weapon. This weapon can also pull off masks, but I'm not gonna go ahead and show you guys that, because I think you guys get the gist of the whole idea. But yeah, that is really it for Skull Grinder. So now let's go to the overall set ratings. So overall, I really like this set. I think it's really good for just playing with, or for any collectors out there. Collectors will really want to get their hands on the Mask of Creation, of course, and the Mask Maker's exclusive head. So, it's 
definitely good for those collectors out there, but playability wise, you get two sets, each of them have a gear function, they have plenty of features. And then you have the mass creation and you can kind of put out like little battles. For mockers, this set, it's kind of a meh because there aren't too many recolors. Sure, you get the protector head recolor, I mean you get two gearboxes, which is nice. You get tons of trans blue bone pieces along with a, one trans red bone piece, which I guess could be useful for mockers, but you only get one. You do have uh, trans red hands, and you do have trans red armor pieces. You also have these, and you get some of these. But overall, for mockers, it's kind of a hit or miss. It depends on what kind of pieces you want, or what kind of pieces you don't have, or what which kind of pieces you would need for a mock you would want to do. And of course, the appearance of these sets. I really think that they did a good job. I like the trans red with the gunmetal a lot. It's not like a dark, it's not like a red with black kind of color scheme. And it, it's, you know, it's nice. There aren't too much things that would make it bad or terrible because everything just kind of works together well. And that's the same for the mask maker. Except for the one thing I really wish they would have done is they would have changed the silver feet and the silver hands to gold. Kind of seems weird, but I would have just preferred that. It, would have looked a lot better with the color scheme and I think think it would, it would have just uh, flowed together well but I can see how people kind of would say that works well just because of the shield being in silver but yeah that is pretty much it for this review I hope you guys enjoyed this review we will be doing a recap soon and until next time this is HF Masters saying goodbye